So, Carm, you were telling me about this uh, really, what I think is probably a really tall wattle tree here. What's it called? Yeah, this one is Acacia Implexa. Yep. It's sometimes called Hickory. And it's a treasured wattle because it has a very dense timber. And it was used for making spears. Uh, it's now used for craft furniture. Oh, wow. Called Lightwood. Okay. Uh, lives about 150 years, uh -huh. which is different from most wattles because uh -huh. most wattles, let me see if I can find one. Yeah, sure. Um, most wattles only last oh, 25 or 30. Yep. Uh, there's one up there. Okay, let's, let's go and have a look. We've got about, um, well, we used to have about 23 wattles around here. I'm not sure how many we have now because we're still back in the process of replanting some of the young ones that died. Um, so it looks like we've got this beautiful, uh, beautiful big yellow one here. This is a lovely, lovely one. This one is, it's Mount Morgan wattle, so it comes from out near Mount Morgan in Queensland. That's it's, where my granddad's from. Oh, okay, <laughs> there you go. okay. Um, it's got a very, well, its botanical name is Acacia podali reifolia. Okay. I have to say it very slowly to make sure every syllable comes in. Okay. Um, wattles, first of all, are what you call a pioneer species. Yep. And that means where you've had a bushfire yep. or where you've had the land severely disturbed, like when we put this drain in all along here. Yep, uh, this drain here, yep. Yes, and remember all of this was bitumen tennis court. Yep. We scraped it all, we dug the drain, and then all these wattles came up. So, so air and earth used to be two asphalt tennis courts, and how long ago was it that you dug them up? Um, 1990s something? No, it'd be 2000, 2003. Okay, so 17 years ago, 2002, you, 2003. you dug up the tennis courts yep. and you made this drain and you're saying wattles popped up. Yes, and the wattles that popped up were Acacia saligna, um, sometimes called orange wattle. It's got a whole lot of different names and it's a Western Australian wattle. So the strange part is that back when Mount Erin up there, was in its early days, someone must have planted a Western Australian wattle along here. Yep. And the seeds just went into the ground, but as soon as that ground was disturbed, up they came. Um, and you mentioned this concept of pioneer species, what does that mean? Wattles, are, they're nitrogen fixers. Yep. And that means that the roots of the wattle have a special relationship with uh, certain bacteria. Uh, this one is an azobacter and they form a symbiotic relationship and the azobacter is able to take the free nitrogen in the air and turn it into a nitrate or a compound that the plant's able to use. And Australian soils are pretty barren, they haven't got much nutrition. So the beauty is the wattles supply the nutrition for the soil to get ready for the next lot of species. Okay. Uh, particularly uh, eucalypts, for example. Okay. So the wattles do the first job and they nitrify all the soil. Yep. And then a lot of them die. And then after that, the eucalypts have got a much better chance of living. So, um... It sounds like the, so correct me if I'm wrong, Carm, 70% of the atmosphere is actually nitrogen. Mm. And so those bacteria, um, which, are, which work well with the wattles, mm -hmm. they're taking that nitrogen out of the sky yep. and as a gas and it's sort of almost sort of gluing it into the soil so the plants that, that come can, can use that nitrogen to help them grow. Yes. Uh, they form nodules on the roots wow. and if you really want to see it, uh, find a clover plant uh -huh. or uh, any of that family, pull them up 
and you'll see the little nodules all down their roots. Yeah, wow. And that's the process of nitrification. Okay, wow, that's really interesting. Thanks, Carl. Okay.